What's up guys? This is Rollin' in Style, Handy Capable Gamer. So we are at the point where we choose if we indulge Ariana in her little crush. <sighs> I feel like pedophile doing this, but I figure we have to show all options. So this is giving in. F it. Who am I fooling, anyway? I squeeze her hand tightly, and I just shake my head at her. Shh. Don't say anything. She doesn't, of course. She just sh starts to quiver a little. For the first time today, she's not the one in control, as she hangs waiting on my next word. I just squeeze tighter, leaving her wanting for another just... Or another few seconds. I... I know. So Christian Grey. Then I give her what she obviously wants. I take her shoulder with my other hand, and then I pull her in close, letting her go up on the tip of her toes to kiss me. She closes her eyes, and I can tell as we delve in... As I delve into her small, warm mouth, this is her first time ever. Her confidence from earlier is gone, so I take the lead. Ariana shivers under me as I kiss her in the rain, letting out a high-pitched murmur as my tongue teases her. I shift my legs, making sure she doesn't notice what's, go what's growing in my pants. That's gross. It's a nice feeling. Her mouth is sweet and her hair is soft, but she's so easy to tease. Eventually, she starts to grip herself tightly and tentatively kisses back. Still not truly in control, I break off slowly and smile at her. Was that what you wanted to say? She's speechless. After a second, she grins madly, then bursts out giggling. Something like that. Then she pauses again and, clearly proud of how clever she is, adds, You put it more eloquently, though. Gently, I stroke her cheek. It's so much softer than I'd imagined. She's so delicate, I have to be careful with her. I know. I should be going in now. Yeah, probably. The other possibility goes unspoken of. Even if I can't help address her in my mind, I'm imagining her small body naked on my bed. It wouldn't be right. Not now. Even if this is what she wanted, I wouldn't go that fast. The kid deserves better than that, even in the form of being given a chance to change her mind. Still, when I give her a goodbye kiss, I let my mouth linger against hers just long enough to keep her on her toes. Poor kid. She deserves a whole lot better chase after someone so much older than her. Oh well, I'm sure it's not going to last long anyway. Schoolgirl crushes are always fleeting, of course. Or at least that's what I tell myself as I change out of my suit. But still, I feel an odd taste left on my lips. That doesn't seem to me. It tastes like 16-year-old girl lip gloss, and it tastes like compromise. I just need to take a moment. This, wow, what's she going to say? She posted it, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, so we could basically get fired. So, in the weather, Charlotte, how was your walk home? Well, it was a little bit wet, and not because of the rain. All right. After a couple of seconds, two hands go up. <clears throat> I'm sure Charlotte has the better answer, but I couldn't not call on Ariana, could I? I smile in her direction, and for the briefest second, she blushes. Go ahead, Ariana. Well, I think it's really important because... And she goes on. 
Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. All right, well, that was the uh, schoolgirl crush. I just decided to show that because this game is full of choices. But uh, I'll go back to my other playthrough. Uh, I already have the other video recorded for Chapter 2, so that'll be up shortly. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, and peace out.